believe in you, Elvis. You got this, buddy. You got this. It is 61 degrees. It feels like perfect. I would prefer to be 90, <laughs> but I know this is kind of where the people love. Warm enough that you're not chill, and if you start walking, you feel super warm, but windy enough that if you do get a little overheated from walking, and this entire trail is right next to a stream that runs pretty fast, so if you want to get water, good place, you want to dip. One guy, poor guy, must have been in his younger 20s, he was hopping the entire trail. He lost a shoe in the river. He's hopping through the mud. I'm impressed. Only a 20 year old can do that. <laughs> oh, super treacherous. Super treacherous. I believe in you. Oh, look at that. Agility. So impressive. He's going for the under. There you go, your highness. Am I gonna carry you across this one too? Oh, jeez. Not another one. That is so cool. And it goes down to that really big puddle there. This place is gorgeous. What is this insanity? Ugh. <laughs> Don't give up. That's a horrible attitude for the kids. The kids can see this. Go. Go on, buddy. The kids can see this. Yeah, let them know you never give up. Go, go, go. I believe in you. Oh, my stick came out. Oh, no. Well, I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Is this right, Albus? This can't be right. I guess we cross over there. Okay. Jeez. It's like straight down. That's really tall. Is it? You? What are you doing? Oh, That's not for you. Oh, 
You wanna go down there? Me too. There's a little way there's some piece of like pool you can get up to around here. Oh yeah? I bet if you go up to the right or to the left, I don't know how to see how you can get over there. Is that way? Where, where's the pool? Up there? He said uh, up and around there.
45 degrees this morning. And I slept horrible. I have my water bonnet ridge runner, it's a bridge, so it's supposed to be a flatter lay, but I was so panicked yesterday about setting up a fire before it's dark, I didn't get to set it up right. Usually you set it up, you look at it, you sit in it, you then tweak it, you sit in it again. But my shoes were soaking wet, I didn't want to take them off with my socks. I wanted to start a fire. He snored all night. He's he's so loud when he snores. But this place is gorgeous. I this uh, St. Mary's wilderness and St. Mary's waterfalls, like especially the part right before the waterfall with that spinning pool thing, absolutely gorgeous. And there's so many campsites here. I don't know why the forest rangers tolerate them, but maybe there's so many people. I don't know. But I I took the one farther back from the stream. I feel like I'm 500 feet away. But I wish it was right over there. It's gorgeous. There's like this nice little lip and just both sides are surrounded by the white noise, right? So you can sleep really quiet, even without rain. It just put you right to sleep. But at 1 a.m., there was, there was an owl. 1 a.m., maybe 11.30. He was so angry about the owl. So loud. It's supposed to be 72 today, even though it's overcast. I have a feeling it'll attract more crowds. I, I stopped counting at 30 people yesterday. It must have been at least 80 people that I counted. Give or take three dogs, I think. A lot of people. Most of them were backpackers. There was, there was two that had, I think, overnight packs, but they might have just been rocking. All ages, too. Old, young kids, families, college kids. I mean, you're supposed to leave no trace, but he's eating the tree. Like, alive. I just fed him, too. I don't know what he's doing. What did we learn? I learned a few things. First, I need a headlamp. It's impossible to do things in the dark without seeing. I'm trying to bite my phone without cracking the glass in my teeth. Number two, I should have brought my spare shoes. These got soaking wet, even though they're waterproof, even though my covers are waterproof. Carrying this guy across the river was it seven times and then seven times back. Soaking wet. I should have brought my Vibrams or shoes so I can take these off with the socks and then put those shoes on. And then the third thing, set that hammock upright. Nothing's better than a good night's sleep. That's the most important thing. But I was just so obsessed with finding fatwood. And I attached a big log in my bag. Good. We had a good time, didn't we? Yes, we did. Good time. Come on. Oh, you feet, you feet, you feet, so raw. Booties! Yeah, these are okay. Ready?